Okay, out here camping in an Indian cave. And this time I have my Lux Mini Peak XL. Very similar to the uh, Mini Peak 2, um, with a couple noticeable differences. It does come with a stove jack, um, and it is larger. Um, it's great. I absolutely love these floorless tents by, uh, by Lux. Um, we'll take a quick look around. So I'm set up in a little bit different location, very close to where I was the last time, but underneath this tree here, I don't know if that's working well for my solar setup, but I do have my, uh, is it big blue solar 28 watt panel set up and I've got that wired in through one of the vents. I've also got a, a goal zero crush light chroma there. I've got another crush light chroma up here. You can see I've got my solar panel here and what I do is I run extension cords and I've got those running in through the vents and down into my wiring nightmare here. Um, been trying out some different things so it doesn't normally look like this. I've got some gear tires up here using these as hangers. Up here I have a, uh, a Goal Zero, um, that's a I think Light of Life Mini. And then here, charging, and it's all charged up now, is my Gold Zero Lighthouse Mini. Uh, some other things in here. I've got a little folding stool, water bottle, another gear tie if I need it. Um, this has some electronics in it. Carry my heavy cover canteen cook set in that. I've got this little table. This is a GSI table, and I've got a little dual indoor-outdoor thermometer. I did bring along my Mr. Heater portable buddy. Um, it did get a little chilly last night. It's nice to turn this thing on for about 10 minutes. Really heats the place up, makes it comfortable to get into the inner. So, oh, and my inner here, to excuse this, I have already slept in it once. I have a cot, I've got my sleeping bag, um, a couple extra blankets if I need it, and a uh, flashlight, uh, let's see. Oh, and I've also got a little Kindle Fire tablet in there as well. Um, this is a perfect setup. I like this a lot. But let's talk about some of the cons or some of the issues I've had. So one of the things, and I struggle with this every time, is getting this inner setup properly and getting it the right tightness. So these pieces here, there's one there, there's one along the back there, and then on the other side. And what I've ended up doing is wrapping this through and then hooking it back to the loop. Um, you want good tension on this because that keeps that away from draping down on your head when you're sleeping and I had that trouble last night so I did kind of redo things and you can see it's held up a lot better around there now lots of room in this this is a one and a half inner plenty of room for this cot um, for me and uh, and all my stuff I need this battery pack here and that is powering this light which is my little dome light for when I hit the sack. I also have a rug in here. This is just a standard rolled up rug and I've got an extra Light of Life Mini there which I haven't hooked up to anything. But it's a great tent, very flexible. For those of you who have not ever camped in a floorless tent, it's nice. A friend of mine describes this as having a tent within a tent. Um, and I like that. It gives me such a huge vestibule space here to run the heater, to do all sorts of things. I can cook in here if I need to, if the weather's bad outside. It's just been a really good tent. It's easy to put up. Um, once you get the corner staked out and you get the center pole in, um, then there's some fine tuning and adjustments to be made, but really easy to work with. Sun's moved. So I moved the solar panel. Big Blue's getting some good sun. The Crush Light Chromos are getting some good sun. I'm going to be all charged up for tonight. Back in the old uh, Lux Mini Peak XL. It's not super cold, but it's cold enough that I'll fire up the... Uh, Mr. Heater, portable buddy, warming up in here before I get ready to call it a night. Nice thing about this little heater in this tent, I turn it on high and within just a few minutes, 
It is absolutely beautifully warm in here. That's great. Absolutely love this setup. So uh, I can just slide stuff under the cot here. It's nice. I'll set up. Oh, it's already getting warm. I gotta take my jacket off. It's so warm. But I'm gonna hop in here on my cot. Hmm. Man, it's warm. Heater is nice and toasty. Move a little bit closer so I can reach it from inside the inner. Take off the shoes. Set those there. Can't see me. Oh well. It's nothing exciting. I've been out here for, uh, let's see. Oh, four days now? Three days. Three and a half days. So I'm, uh, I'm a little ripe. But that's okay. It's okay. They got showers here. I'm planning on hitting them. All right. Well, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. Um, I really enjoy bringing everybody along with me. You guys have a good night. I am looking forward to a great night's sleep tonight. Been sleeping really good out here, and that's always nice.